Hi everyone, Courtney Martin here. In this tutorial video, we're gonna go over how to pluck your doodle's ear hair. Um, as most of you guys know, when it comes to having a doodle, the poodle side of the breed tends to grow hair in their ear. And it's really important for us to keep that the ears essentially nice and dry and clean. And so I'm gonna go ahead and show you how this ear powder works. Some people use this tool here and some people prefer just to use their fingers. So I'm in this tutorial, I'm gonna go ahead and use my fingers and the ear powder. This is how I normally um, groom Max when it comes to cleaning his ears. So you go ahead and you flip your doodle's ear over and you use this ear powder and just gently dust the powder so it, it comes out nice and you can see it sort of dusts and it lets you see all of that excess hair that needs to come out. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom in so you can get a better visual of all that fluff that we should really be getting out of his ear. And so the trick guys to not um, really essentially hurt your doodle or freak them out is to pull a little bit of a hair at a time. Compare it to when you pluck your eyebrows or you know even just imagine you plucking or someone else plucking your ear hair. Um, you know you would like to it to happen a little pinch at a time. And so uh, as I said the word pinch you want to make sure that you do not pinch your doodle's actual skin. So I'm going through Max's quite a bit of fluff in his ears and I'm just doing a little bit at a time. And I'm gonna show you what I'm pulling out so far. So this might surprise you. So I just did a small area and this is what's coming out. Whoop. This is what has come out so far. So imagine, you know, if I left all of this hair in there, that's a really great way for bacteria to accumulate. We don't want that. So I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in again. As you can see, this dusting powder is really good to show us, give us a nice visual of where that fluff is and, you know, essentially that it needs to come out. So gonna open up his ear a bit here so you can see. Uh, deep down in there, there's fur that I cannot pull out with my fingers. Um, you know, that's when you wanna go ahead and use a tool to get it out. I'll just try to open up his ear a bit so you can see it better. Okay, so you can kind of see there's some hair deep down in there. All right, so the trick is when you're going in, it's a good idea to have this tool closed. So the reason why it's easier to have the tool closed is because there's a less chance of you grabbing or even scratching your dog's ear as you're going in. So I'm going to try to give you the best view possible here. Over time, I will get better with shooting these videos um, in certain angles so you guys can get a clear view, but Essentially, I'm going in with this tool closed and I'm going in to find the fur that I simply could not grab with my fingers, okay? Um, when you're first starting out, uh, you know, grooming your doodle's ears, what I recommend is just use your fingers because, again, if you pinch your dog's ear on the inside, it's not going to be a pleasant memory. So especially when you are new, it's, it's just good for safety measures to do this as well. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you what I pulled out so far. There's, there's just no way that I would have, and there's actually wax in there too, I would have been able to get this out with my fingers. Um, honestly, nor would I want to now that I see the wax on there. So uh, this kind of stuff, guys, needs to come out. And so those are your two options. You can use your fingers to get that pesky hair out or you can use a tool. So um, if you guys have any further questions, let me know. I will continue to shoot videos and I will reshoot another one of these as we go forward. Talk to you soon.